hello friends in this video I am going to tell you some of the ways to unblock your fallopian tubes naturally the thought of not being able to bring a healthy baby into the world is something that few women can bear there are many reasons why some women cannot conceive and one of the top causes is the blockage in the fallopian tubes also known as tubal factor infertility in fact blocked fallopian tubes are the reasons behind almost 40 percent of infertility cases fertilization takes place in one of the fallopian tubes and the embryo then develops in the uterus any kind of blockage then can prevent conception as the egg cannot meet the sperm for fertilization a blockage can occur in one or both fallopian tubes that connect the ovaries to the uterus it can be due to inflammation infection or even additions on the scar after healing from surgery some common conditions or procedures that may cause blocks fallopian tubes are endometriosis pelvic inflammatory diseases uterine fibroids ectopic pregnancy tubal ligation removal and complications from lower abdominal surgeries such as cesarean section as blocked fallopian tubes are usually asymptomatic they may un they may go undiagnosed until a woman goes to the doctor to find out why she is not able to get pregnant so there are some natural remedies and lifestyle factors that can help cure and reverse most cases of blocked fallopian tubes here are the 10 ways which I think I can mention you by which you can unblock your fallopian tubes naturally the one first number is castor oil pack to unblock your fallopian tubes a natural option is castor oil castor oil is rich in reconolic acid an element that carries powerful therapeutic effects it helps increases blood and lymphatic circulation around the fallopian tubes the increased blood, blood supply promotes better functioning and aids removal of blockages from the fallopian tubes also it triggers the lymphatic system which is important for removing disease cells old cells and scar tissues castor oil therapy is also effective for problems like ovarian cyst uterine, uterine fibroids and endometriosis which can cause a blockage to prepare the castor oil we should use like this prepare a castor oil pack by soaking a piece of soft clean cloth in castor oil fold the cloth and heal it in, in the microwave until it is comfortably warm place it on your lower abdomen put a piece of plastic on the top of the cloth apply heat for 30 to 60 minutes by placing a hot water bottle on the top of the plastic remove the pack then rinse off the oil with lukewarm water do this at least for one to two months for good results the second remedy I suggest is yoga yoga helps channel your body's energies energies in a systematic matter which is important for your reproductive as well as overall health so the yoga posture suggested for fallopian tubes blockage is bridge pose in the bridge pose you have to lie down your back fold your knees inhale lift your bottoms and all this and you should repeat this exercise 10 to 20 times a day with its unique combination of posture postures breathing exercises and meditations yoga increases oxygenation and blood circulation throughout your body it also helps fight infection and inflammation two main culprits in blocking or damaging your fallopian tubes with regular yoga practice you can remove your fertility and your and increase your chances of getting pregnant to open block fallopian tubes one of the best posture as i told you is bridge pose and the other one is viprakiti karani which is legs up on the wall pose which also helps improve improving the blockage of fallopian tubes the third procedure i suggest is fertility massage massaging the abdomen in a particular type of manual physical therapy that can help unlock your fallopian tubes and improve their general health and functioning massaging leads to better blood circulation in and around the tubes 
which in turn leads to breaking up scar tissues and adhesions as well as decreasing inflammation. According to a study in 2015 published by Alternative Th Therapies, it was found that manual, manual physical therapy helps reverse female infertility attributed to occluded, occluded fallopian tubes, hormonal dysregulation, endometriosis and ex un unexplained infertility and led to increased successful in vitro cycles. In this re retrospective study of 1392-1392 infertile women, manual physical therapy treatment showed a 60% success rate in opening at least one fallopian tube and a 57% pregnancy rates for women whose tubes had opened. In this massage, lie down your back and put a pillow under your neck, oh, under your lower back. Relax and gently massage your lower abdomen with some warm olive oil. While massaging, try to pull the area beneath your pelvic bone where the uterus is located towards your navel. Hold this position, count to 10 and release your hands. Repeat this procedure 10 to time, 20 times daily and you should do it daily. You can also consult a massage therapist specializing in abdominal massage for better results. The other procedure I recommend is acupuncture. Acupuncture is another effective technique to improve the functioning of fallopian tubes. In acupressure, experts use precise finger placements and pressure over specific points along the body to encourage relaxation and improve blood circulation. Increased circulation helps break down scar tissues and adhesions around the fallopian tubes, in turn opening the blocked tubes. For blocked fallopian tubes, the acupoints that need to be simulated are the REN14, REN12, REN6, REN4, REN3 and ST30. When using acupuncture for blocked fallopian tubes, you should get it done by an expert only. The other one, now exercise. Exercise is a good way to reduce inflammation in the body and improve blood circulation which in turn can reduce a blockage in the fallopian tubes. Stretching exercises are the best to reduce scar tissues, one of the major reasons for tube blockage. A regular practice of simple stretching exercises can clear blockage in and around the fallopian tubes as well as relieve pelvic pain. Another good option is energy exercises that improve blood circulation and vital energies throughout the body. This in turn will rejuvenate your bo whole body including the fallopian tubes. The next one is ginger. The common herb ginger is very good for unblocking fallopian tubes. Ginger root improves circulation throughout the body and helps reduce inflammation and blockages. It also reduces excess body fluids, thus opening fallopian tubes blocked due to fluid or blood collection. Boil 1 tablespoon of grated ginger root in 2 cups of water for 10 minutes. Strain, add honey and drink 2 to 3 cups of this herbal tea daily. Also, you can chew fresh ginger pieces several times a day. The next is the vitamin D. Cells in the female reproductive system, include the fallopian tubes, are rep replete with vitamin D receptors. When the body has ample amount of vitamin D, it binds with its receptor to regulate genes in the reproductive system and aid estrogen production. All these factors are important for healthy functioning of the fallopian tubes. Additionally, vitamin D is an emerg emerging factor influencing female fertility and in vitro fertilization outcomes. Expose yourself to early morning sunlight for about 10 minutes daily to help your body produce vitamin D. Eat foods high in vitamin D like salmon, egg yolks and uh, food fortified with vitamin D. You can take vitamin D supplements but uh, this should be only after consulting your doctor. The next one is vitamin C. If you have been struggling to get pregnant due to blocked fallopian tubes, vitamin C can raise your chances of conception. In particular, when the blockage is due to inflection or inflammation, vitamin C may help to clear it. Being an antioxidant, vitamin D also keeps the body protected from free radicals which are unstable molecules that can damage cell structures. Vitamin C is also essential for the absorption of iron 
and it boosts your immunity and fights infections for vitamin c eat raw foods which are rich in vitamin c like citrus foods you can also opt to take vitamin c supplements but it is also after only consulting your doctor for appropriate durations and dosages and now you should quit smoking smoking is not good for anyone's health and especially for women who are trying to conceive in fact uh, smoking is one of the causes behind blocking fallopian tubes the nicotine in cigarettes stimulates the fallopian tubes to st- to contract by quitting smoking you can improve the health of your fallopian tubes and reduce the risk of ectopic pregnancy miscarriage decreased follicle count and potential damage to d- dna in the follicles in a study in 2012 published in the european study of human reproduction it was found that c- cigarette smoking reduces the production of a fallopian tube gene known as bad bad which is turn in is linked to ectopic pregnancy uh, to quit smoking don't ask the help from experts from family members or friends it is always welcome it should be welcomed actually and the next one limit alcohol and caffeine intake and trying to conceive both alcohol and caffeine intake in high amounts can lower your chances a study in 2011 published in british journal of pharmacology reports that caffeine appears to reduce the muscle activity in the fallopian tubes that carry eggs from the ovaries to the uterus also high alcohol intake can lead to multiple infertility problems in women some of these problems includes amenorrhea reduced ovarian weight lowered hormone concentration inhibited ovulations and interference with sperm cell transportation through the fallopian time tips of oh, sorry fallopian tube at the same time drinking alcohol heavily around the time of ovulation lowers your chances of successful conception so it is always recommended to limit your alcohol and caffeine intake if possible avoid them completely so now there are some additional tips uh, i think you should go through <coughs> to unblock your fallopian tubes apply an activated charcoal polutize over your abdominal at the right to uh, draw on infection and reduce inflammation also practice meditation to re- help you reduce the stress level and promote overall good physical health take all necessary steps to reduce stress to improve your chances of getting pregnant avoid packaged food like non organic meat products that contain synthetic hormones eat foods that are high in, in uh, antioxidants to help promote healing and good health try halban tampons for the treatment of blocked fallopian tubes maintain a healthy weight being overweight or underweight can lead to fertility issues eat more fresh foods and vegetables as well as food rich in iron calcium b vitamin selenium and folate drink plenty of water every day to keep your body eliminate toxins i think it will help you to open the blockage in your fallopian tubes and help you to get pregnant as soon as po- as possible thank you very much friends for listening me thank you